Chris, it's an agonising fourth place for you in the men's high jump. How did you find it, first of all? You say agonising, I'm, I'm happy to come fourth in Europe. Um, we're all really good jumpers out in that final. We had to, to get through from yesterday, come back a day later and try and do the same again where we all basically hit our limits yesterday. It's a really hard thing to do, so fair play to the guys that beat me, but I'm happy to come fourth place. I suppose it is a, it is a little bit bittersweet for you to just miss out on a medal. Yeah, but no, I'm, I, yeah, it is because a medal's a medal, but you told me that coming into the champs I'm going to come fourth place, I'd have beat your arm off, so I'm, no, I'm happy. How much does it mean to you to come out of this fourth best in Europe? It's massive, it's, it's a big step in the right direction for my journey to Tokyo, so this wasn't really on my plans, we sort of haven't focused too much on indoors, so to come away fourth in Europe, I'm delighted. Now it's to try and push on, jump 230 and be in Doha. What's the plan for the outdoor season between now and then? Jump 230 and get to Doha. No, uh, just work hard. I'm still got to work hard and do, do bits and pieces, freshen. I've got lots to do. My run-up's coming together. It's a new run-up this year. That's that's working really well. Run hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of those, get it ingrained, ingrained and jump high. Enjoy it. I enjoyed this championship. It's great to be in a British crowd, get the crowd going, get it on your back. Support, everyone, support's been great. It's amazing. And how much confidence does your performance this weekend give you heading into the outdoor season? Yeah, it's good. Like, it's not an amazing performance for me, but it is it's still a good, solid performance. So the more you can build a foundation, the better you can grow from it. So I'm really happy, yeah.